Happy Friday, TGIF. This is Chris Ruspe from Applied Financial Wisdom, and we're just about to finish up another week as comprehensive financial planners. You may have noticed recently that there was a lot of market volatility, and uh, you might be asking yourself what causes this. Right now, the financial markets are trying to figure out three things. The first thing that they're trying to figure out is how far is the federal government and how far are the local governments going to go towards more of a, say, a socialistic um, uh, approach where the government controls more of the tax revenues, controls more of the economy, handles more of the spending than they have over the last uh, four years. Um, now, historically, the fact of the matter is that when the government, which is hugely inefficient, siphons a lot of money away from the private sector and from individual taxpayers, it typically causes the economy to slow down. So one of the things the financial markets are worried about is that those, the policy will go too far towards an extreme and cause a market, well, an e economic contraction, which could also cause a market correction. So that's one thing that's on the market's minds right now. A second thing uh, that is very concerning is hyperinflation. Um, very few financial professionals were around in the 70s. Uh, I was alive in the 70s, but I was certainly not managing money in the 70s. But if you uh, talk to someone who was alive during those periods of time, you'll know that hyperinflation uh, is just a tremendously dangerous thing for an economy. So that's the second thing. Our government's spending trillions of dollars it doesn't have. And uh, the effect on uh, the economy and inflation is really a concern, especially for our retired clients. Um, so we have uh, inflation, uh, we have kind of government policy, and then the third thing that's really on the financial markets right now is the cost to invest in uh, equities, stocks, is exceedingly high. If you look at the last hundred years of financial products and you look at the cost of those relative to their earnings, one of the things that's been very consistent is that when you pay a very high cost um, in relationship to earnings, the ensuing 10 years is typically an underperforming period of time. Um, this valuation reminds me a lot of 1999 where the value of financial products are exceedingly expensive in relationship to their earnings. So when you take into consideration government policy, possibly causing the economy to slow down or worse, collapse, and the high valuations and the risk of inflation, it makes sense that the financial markets are trying to find their bearings right here. Uh, if you're interested in this type of content, you can follow my blog on AppliedFinancialWisdom.com. Uh, you can also subscribe to my social media channels. I'm on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Um, or you can send me an email. Uh, send me an idea of what you'd like to hear in future uh, videos, and I'm happy to see if I can address those. This is just an off-the-cuff, uh, quick um rehashing of the financial week and uh, appreciate your time and as always I wish you happiness health and success signing off for this week and looking forward to seeing you next week this is Chris Rusby with Applied Financial Wisdom